Hi, you guys. So I said that I would come back and um, show you what I bought in America. I shopped quite a bit, and I have quite a bit to show for it. So I am just going to get started. I kind of divided this. I'm going to start with face, like skincare and face, like foundation type stuff first. And then we'll go on to the eyes, I guess, because that's what's in this bag. So I'm just going to get started. I bought, and we'll do skincare first. Okay. Bought two skincare items, one of which was planned, one of which was not planned. And then I received a third as a gift with purchase slash um, they wanted me to try it out and let them know what I thought because the company is thinking about releasing it as a product within their line. But the first thing is the By Terry Sev de Rose. And it's called um, the Ultra Glow Serum Multi Zone Integral Brightener for Face and Eyes, which is the longest freaking name ever. Pretty much, it smells like roses. I use it in the morning. Um, before I put my primer on and I kind of let it sink in and because of the serum it sinks in a little faster which I really like so there's that the second thing I bought was on a whim because there was a huge sale going on at I think trade secret you'll see quite a few things from that purchase from Too Faced um, because they're getting rid of the line and so it was all 50% off this was also 50% off and it's the Bliss Sleeping Peel Serum. But you can tell it's really watery. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, it's an amino acid exfoliating gel. Um, yeah, I don't know. I tried it one night and I didn't really see any difference. But we'll see. It was like 20 bucks, So that's not bad because Bliss... Whew, Bliss tends to be pretty pricey. Then the third thing um, was from my lovely, lovely ladies at Le Metier. Um, and I was there to purchase a couple of things. And they had had this as a gift with purchase a while ago. And the company is thinking, like I said, thinking about putting it in a permanent line. And it is their dual phase makeup remover. Um, this is along the lines of like by Facile and all those like Lancome and there's a ton of other ones but anyways so it was a cute little one to try I think I'm just gonna take it with I'm take it to I'm with me and use it that weekend okay then I bought three primers well I bought two of them and one of them came in a Laura Geller set so I'll show you that one first and it's the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in the color Champagne, which is like a glowy, glowy champagne color. Then, I did a bunch of drugstore hauling because the drugstore seems to have really stepped up its game makeup-wise. And there was a couple things I was really interested in, and this is one of them, although I am so disappointed with how small this thing is. Um, this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. You could also use this as a liquid highlighter um, if you wanted to. It's pretty, I wouldn't say pigmented, but it would work as a liquid highlighter. And then um, I always like to keep either Smashbox Photo Finish or Photo Finish Light on hand, um, both for my own use and for use in my kit. Um, and both of my, after a while, if you keep especially with photo finish, which was the one that I had currently. Um, after a while, it starts to go rancid and it smells awful. And it doesn't do anything to your skin, but the smell is just horrid. And I'm sure that it's all of the silicones that are in it probably breaking down or whatever. Anyways, I was at Ulta. I grabbed the jumbo size of the photo finish light which I actually like a little bit better. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop doing many reviews of everything. I picked up two foundations. Is that right? Yeah, even though 
I'm going to need two more foundations. One of these was my go-to for a very, very long time. And I ran out and I just never repurchased it. And I decided I wanted to wear it again. And it's the, you know, you guys all know what this is. Makeup Forever HD. I'm in the color 115. So what I have on right now, I remember why I like it so much. There's a couple things that I still don't like about it. But if you guys want a review of this for the thousandth time, let me know. The other thing I got was I took a big trip to the CCO with my mom. Who took me for like my birthday slash Christmas present because they're both really close together and I hadn't seen her since October. But um, I picked up Double Wear by Estee Lauder in the color Shell, which is the lightest. Um, I actually like to mix this with the Maximum Cover in Ivory? No, no, no. I can't think of the name, but there's an Estee Lauder, the Maximum Coverage foundation that a lot of people use as concealer. I mix them together to get my color. But this is on really, really bad skin days, and I don't really have really bad skin days, but it was on sale. So. Then... Oh no, where's my other one? Oh, I got put away, but I'll tell you about it. Um, I got two luminizers because I've really been into mixing them in with my foundation. Didn't do it today because I wanted to test um, HD, Bang It Forever HD out on a whole day by itself. Because sometimes when you mix them with luminizers, it changes the longevity of them because you're adding to it anyways. Um, I picked up the Josie Moran Argan Oil Illuminator. Um, my little sister had gotten a like set that had a mini size of this and I used it one day and mixed it in with one of my foundations and absolutely loved the effect. I love this with Laura Mercier Silk Cream, which is what I've been using it for. Um, I decided to pick up the huge bottle. You could use it as a highlighter or whatever you want to use it as, but I really like it because it's moisturizing. On that vein too, I picked up a replacement for my Laura Mercier Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer in whatever the lightest color is. I don't remember what it's called. Um, and that I like to mix with foundations as well. Okay. Um, what else do I have for face? Oh, just one more thing. Okay, and then um, because I'm, I'm going to try to stop saying um. Because I love the Bare Minerals Ready eyeshadow so much, and I loved the Brightening Gold Tinted, um, uh, la, 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 Brightening Gold Mineral Veil, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. Well, I picked up the Ready SPF 15 Touch Up Veil in Translucent which is just their mineral veil pressed, um, which means it's easy to throw in your bag. Don't know if I like it yet. Um, I said I'm again. I really like dewy finishes and kind of glowy type skin because I have dry skin, and this is pretty mattifying, but it is really good for, like, I'm excited to use this in the summer because this you can use to powder throughout the day and it doesn't cake up, at least uh, from what I can tell. So that is that. Then, since I was just talking about Gareth Pugh, I'll go ahead and show you the other things that I got from the collection. I purchased the two pigments, which look like this. These are plastic. The... Sorry. The powders and the, yeah, all of the powders are in heavy metal cases, which I'll show you in a second. But anyways, this one is in the color Guys, and it is just a silver. It's a really pretty silver, but it's, it's pretty regular silver. These also have, like, no pigment in them. I mean, so just FYI, but you're paying for packaging, period. I mean, that's what you're paying for. Um, and then the other one is called Deceit, and it's a really gorgeous, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell on the lid, but it's like a plummy, dark, 
It's like a blackened burgundy, I guess would be the best way I would describe it. Then I also picked up the two, well, two, the two duochrome nail polishes. One of them is in my bag. The other one is in my nail polish sack. Uh, they're both gorgeous. They, I'm sorry guys. They're, neither of them are as duochrome as they seem in the thing, which was really disappointing. But the other two things that I bought were the, um, what are these called? The Metal X Cream Shadows. Mostly just because they were the cheapest of all the things in the heavy packaging. And I love the um, powder. So this one is in Obscura. Like camera obscure. For all you photo geeks out there. And then this one is called Ardent. And this one's a really pretty color. I hate the Metal X formula. So you're probably like, why the hell would you buy something that is that expensive? If you don't even like the formula but these are not really to use so it doesn't really matter and then oh I'm blaming this one on Rachel makeup never sleeps who gets mentioned in like every video but whatever she had a bunch of these and when they first came out I swatched them and I didn't swatch them wet and I was like eh they're just kind of meh also pissed me off that they were not in metal packaging, um, which you'll understand what I mean in a second. But this is the YSL Pure Chromatics Quad in number 20, which is just a pretty, you can tell it's gotten use already. Um, so what really bothers me, let me get my fingerprints off of it. This looks like it's metal, right? But it's not, it's plastic. And they're regular quince or whatever they are come in metal and so I was just a little confused but anyways these the idea of this is that you can use these both wet and dry and that when you get them wet they really become like a cream shadow kind of like if you take fix plus to a pigment um, I actually like to use fix plus with these and you can tell it hasn't like left a wet spot or anything like that uh, if you use them wet, they are very, very metallic, and if you use them dry, they are sheer. Um, but I love this, and I think she may have started an obsession. No surprise there. Um, I'll do this one. So, I have to preface this by saying that I am, how do I say this? Okay. This next thing I'm going to show you is the Lancome Color Design Palette in the color Chic by Shell. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to say that. C-H-E-L-L-E. This is part of a collaboration with Michelle Fan, Fawn, however you say her name, who is toted a lot of times as YouTube's biggest guru. I've watched two of her videos. Um, but I think it's really awesome that she collaborated and I'm kind of obsessed with this palette and you guys know that I really like the color design palettes so here's what this one looks like this is coming up blue it is purple like like extremely purple like not blue at all um, and then you have kind of like a peachy this one's showing a pretty true to color salmony color this awesome um, silver see if my camera will focus today there you go um and then some a brown and a nice liner color but the purple and the silver really just called my name and it came with a Lancome art liner which I was out of and I like so I had no problem and then a mascara sample it's at Sephora now and you'll see her face big on the box god I'm sorry I'm yawning so much like I said I haven't slept yet and it's 5 30 okay this was the number one thing that I wanted to get when I got home and I was mortified because I went to my Sephora my favorite Sephora which for any of you in Dallas is the one at North Park it's way better than any of 
the other ones. But they were completely out and they didn't think they were getting a shipment back in. But then I thought my Ulta, which is right across the street in the new Park Lane um, shopping center, which nobody seems to go to. Um, the Ulta is back in the back by the Whole Foods. I don't know why I'm telling you this. A lot of you probably aren't from Dallas. But my Ulta is always empty and they always have stock of things that's out everywhere else. So I immediately went and got my car and drove to Ulta. And sure enough, they had like 12 of each of these. And they are the Bare Essential Christmas palettes. I've already raved about how much I love the Ready formula from Bare Minerals. I I'm not a big fan of their mineral eyeshadows just because they're so damn messy. MAC pigments, I don't usually use for the eyes. Um, I mostly use them for mixing, for shoots. I really like it. This is the worst video I've ever made. Whatever. We still have so much to go. I'm going to have to stop. This is going to be a four-part video or something. Anyway, so I got both of the colors. This is the Ready 8.0. This one is Playlist, and this one is the Cocktail Hour. I'll show you this one first. Mostly because I like the fact that it's called a cocktail. Because who doesn't like cocktails? Okay. So this is the cooler of the two. Obviously, you've got some really pretty colors that I've used a lot already and am in love with. They do mattes well. They do satins well. They do shimmers well. They're all just really gorgeous, well-executed colors. I am so impressed. Their Minerals was kind of, I think I was reading a blog recently, and somebody said that they were too infomercially, and that's exactly what it was for me. I had always seen the infomercials, and I refuse to buy anything that's not an infomercial. Because I am not a grandmother who sits at home and watches the Home Shopping Network all day long. I do love the Home Shopping Network. Sometimes, not all. Anyways, whatever. I just always got kind of like, a, I don't know. I just wasn't impressed. And then they came out with these, or I tried their foundation again. Anyways, essentially I'm having a love affair with Bare Minerals right now. This is the playlist, and it's obviously the warmer of the two. These are also gorgeous. I wore um, these this color all over the lid which is a really pretty just matte kind of off whitish ecru color with this one on the lid this one on the outer v and then this one on my lower lash line for new year's eve because i was wearing a really warm toned outfit and it was gorgeous and speaking of oh. You could tell I need to sleep. The ready two point, the, the ready eyeshadows, I just gave away what this next thing is. I had three of the four uh, quads from Bare Minerals, the pressed ones. Um, the fourth one I was not interested in. There's about all of the duos that I'm in love with, but I picked up two. And the two that I picked up were, were the top shelf, which looks like this. This color right here is called Mixologist, and this one is called Cognac. I think that's super cute. Get it? Cognac and the Mixologist makes drinks. Anyways, they're both, this is a great uh, duo to pair together. <coughs> <coughs> and then the other one that I got is called The Epiphany. Whoever thought of these names must have, like, worked for OPI for years or something because these are very like witty cute names this one's called the epiphany um this color right here is called foreshadow and this color right here is called aha like an epiphany my eighth grade English teacher always said that epiphanies were aha moments I always wanted to slap her when she said that but it made me giggle when I saw this so there's that I'm going, I have three more things to show you really fast, and uh, four. Four more things to show you really fast, then we're going to stop, and then we're going to continue. Um, so you can join us for part three of this. This came in a set called the Masquerade set that was on sale, and I've wanted to try the brand, and it is the 
Charlotte Robson quad and Pamela looks like this haven't used it yet I swatched it swatches were just kind of eh um, Nikki though has one of her palettes that she really loves so hopefully I like this one then um, while I was at CCO I picked up a quad that I've eyed forever but was still scared of greens and so I never got it um, and I picked it up while I was home and it's the photorealism quad it's green it's pretty then on in the same set as the Laura Geller primer it was the one that had the special like I think it was called like champagne wishes or something collection this is the eye I bake a little lot baked eye dreams eyeshadows in Bellini these are also really gorgeous super pigmented colors then as another little gift from my ladies at Le Metier, they had some of the like gift with purchase eyeshadow palettes that they do quite often um, and so they gave me this one and this one is called Bijou de Versailles which means jewels of Versailles um, they're pretty jewel tones I don't know what the quality of these is like compared to the regular shadows so I'm kind of excited to try them out that is all for that one we'll come back and we'll do single eyeshadows and what do I have up here eyeliners and stuff of that nature so I will see you guys soon bye